from how to why. For many, especially in the West, questions abound over the aborted airplane catastrophe of Christmas Day 2009. A young jihadi comes within precious minutes of delivering a devastatingly deadly Christmas package to the United States and hundreds of its citizens on board Northwest Flight 253. The apparent ease with which he's able to smuggle a powerful explosive onto the craft and the manner of igniting the chemical has forced questions about how this could have happened. But for some, the question isn't how, but why. Why would 23-year-old Umar Farouk Abdul-Muttalib, the son of a wealthy and prestigious Nigerian family, sign up for such a mission? When politicians and media ask how, they're addressing methodology. When others wonder why, they are examining motivation. When a young man of means adopts such a path, it speaks to the emptiness and alienation of material life. His posts, if accurate, reflect a mind-numbing milieu of loneliness and isolation. And if the son of one of Nigeria's wealthiest families can be lured to the way of destruction, this does not bode well for those bent on waging what they have called the war on terror. For there are tens of millions of youth living in direst poverty and powerlessness under feudal, violent, and corrupt governments all over the world who have far more acute reasons to view their present lives as an intolerable hell. As long as the U.S. looks at hows and not whys, there will ever be surprises and gifts from those who do not mean well. From death row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. Well, this channel uh, will be broadcasting a documentary on the Mumia case, so watch out for that. Meanwhile, I'm not quite sure what our next guest uh, will think of him or uh, his uh, views on Obama. Well, let's ask him. Welcome to Michael Scott Carter, Republican supporter and broadcaster. Thank you. Hi, Michael. Well, uh, Obama, he uh, seems like a wartime president, bombing Yemen, bombing Pakistan. Let's start on foreign policy. Uh, he's uh, supported that coup in Honduras, uh, surge in Afghanistan, more warlike than uh, President Bush, who, who you supported. Well, uh, I wouldn't say warlike as, as such, because the coup in Honduras was not necessarily supported. Uh, I mean, we had a couple sort of far-right Republican uh, senators who decided that they wanted to support it, but not actually the, uh, the Obama administration who come out with it. I guess, in theory, they would be seen as a, a wartime president, but very often Democratic presidents are. How would you assess his first year? Um, it's been interesting. The problem is, is he's done so much, um, you can't really assess it. Uh, the sort of there's this uh, historical congressional site that said he is one of the most uh, uh, sort of uh, finished presidents of the decade or the last hundred years for that matter because he's every policy he's put his name to has gone through uh, through Congress the sort of con congressional process so it's hard based on that he, he's, he's done but well. he hasn't finished Guantanamo Bay that's still well ongo. see that's difficult because Congress is still paying for it so he can't actually take it away because money still being allocated for and it. he did promise to be the most transparent administration That has been very difficult um, uh, there is a, uh, a site called um, PolitiFact and he looked at over the 600 promises that he's made something like uh, uh, 455 of them are just incomplete, and 170 of them are, uh, the math adds up roughly. Well, and the, the health care bill that he did pass through, some have said, of course, he received masses of donations from pharmaceutical companies. Do you think he's proud of the health care bill that has emerged after all the... Uh, I don't personally like it. Uh, I don't think, the problem Do is... Do you think Obama is? is? Well, no, because they went about this completely wrong. But this is, the problem with the Democrats is they have a terrible PR uh, uh, approach. What he could have done, which is much easier, is start at fixing these things at the margin. So one thing that could have opened up the, uh, the uh, health care market is to then in turn allow people to buy across state lines. And that would have just, my thing is test it before we actually try and do the sweeping monumental reforms. This is a president of monumental reforms where I'd say we just scale back a little bit and actually fix these things at the margin. So what we have is this mishmash of a bill that he's going to take through committee, which he will then in turn try and sort of he's deeply, attach he's these things He's deeply unpopular, back isn't he? A, a year in, and he's now... Well, 53%, I don't know. There's a well, it's, a, it's, a big fall. it's certainly a big fall. Yeah, so uh, how do you uh, expect him to uh, cope in the next year? 
Well, see, this is an election year, and so um, right now he's fighting a very difficult campaign in Massachusetts, which uh, it was Ted Kennedy's seat, and everyone assumed that, uh, I think her name is uh, Patricia Cokey, or Coakley was going to take it uh, against um, Scott Brown, but uh, it, it's now he has come back from a 30% drop um, and sort of pushed past her. And so now he was in Massachusetts yesterday trying to sort of rally support, which hasn't seemed to really work because the last elections he sort of supported the candidate. He He's graded failed. himself B plus. What grade would you give him? Um, I, I, the problem is, is there is no sort of uh, scale to grade him on at the moment because it's almost the best analogy I can give is he's only, he hasn't finished his exams, so. So we'll You'll keep on watching this. Thank you very much, Mike. <laughs> well, one of Pakistan's most internationally famous politicians took time off from his own campaign a few days ago to give his personal assessment to Yvonne on uh, Obama's first year in power. This is what he had to say. Imran, Obama has been in power now a year. Are you impressed with his first year in office? I have to say I am extremely disappointed. Someone who prayed for Obama, I find his performance, and I'm talking specifically about uh, the so-called war on terror, I find that very disappointing because 